countertop. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, you know, what, what, so Craig is not here today, because, and, and we're much happier having you, because you're much better looking. I don't know but, about that. Uh, wait a minute, I think you're adorable. I don't know about that. Craig's pretty... So you but, don't have okay. that adorable beard. But seriously, so he's, this is Harvest and Crush. Yeah, we're on... Uh, last, last day of Harvest? Um, this week, so Craig's this week, picking this week. fruit today and tomorrow, and then we're about finished up. So it's okay. going to be great. A lot of long hours, and finally coming to the end. There's light at the end of the tunnel here. So I, I see you also brought out uh, one of the Albarinos, mm -hmm. a very rare bottle of, uh, of fruit here in, in this part of Washington State. Now, how many other Albarinos are there in Washington? You know, I think there's maybe just about a handful, maybe I'm 10 thinking, producers uh, making the Albarino. It's not heavily planted in our state, but um, yeah. boy, it's sure a really beautiful wine and oh, um, lovely. it's sure. one of our biggest sellers at the tasting room, for yeah, sure. Last night's dinner yep. was um, the 2012 wow. Albarino, a bottle wow, of the you still have a bottle, and, that's great. And it was <laughs> I'll tell you, I was wondering about dinner, mm -hmm. uh, because it's a new recipe, mm -hmm. why I start at five o'clock making something I've never made before, I don't know. But anyway, it was pork with fennel, uh, onion, parsnips, garlic. Is that better? And it was, um, you know, it had a touch of sweetness to it. Mm. And I did not want Riesling, right. but I wanted something, uh, you know, something that would not um, be affected by the sweetness of the dish. It wasn't right. very sweet, right. but you know, it had a little mustard in it and stuff. And um, so, I must have must give him credit. He suggested the Albarino, Great, yeah. and uh, it worked absolutely perfectly. Yeah, I mean, there's not a lot of residual sugar on that. It starts with a little hint of sweetness and then finishes dry. Yeah, but there's so just enough, uh, just enough, enough to balance. Mm -hmm. And the parsnips didn't turn out to be as sweet as I thought they would. Right. And then the fennel balanced that. I don't know, whatever. It worked it out very well. Sounds like a perfect. Worked match. beautifully. Mm -hmm. Good. No, oh, I love that. Yeah, and today Albarino. we're we're actually picking picking today our 2016 Albarino. So well, now that's good news. That'll be going in the winery today. That means to me, mm -hmm. as the consumer of the Albarino, there will be more. There will be more. There will be yes. more. All right. Yeah. <laughs> that's good news. Yes, yeah. very popular. How's yeah. the how's the Tempranillo? You know, I love the Tempranillo, but I did you haven't mentioned that you're going to have a new Tempranillo. We have a new Tempranillo. Oh. We have our four, 2014. Um, we released that in the spring, and yay! You know, every month in the bottle, it keeps evolving, and um, it's oh, become yeah. a pretty popular wine at the tasting room as well. Um, mm -hmm. Again, another wine that um, is not. Mm. Kind of heavily planted in Washington, and we're starting to see more and more Tempranillos, and um, a lot of yeah, you know, a lot of people really enjoy it. So. 